as our state is a hardworking state um, that loves to enjoy the freedoms that we can in the country and keeping it wild and wonderful, it's important to be able to maintain um, our job security to allow us to do that. And so ensuring that our kids can stay in school is so important. And that's what the vaccine is allowing us to have is a little bit more freedom or returning back to that normalcy that we're looking, that we're hoping to gain again. Um, but it's so important too to allow for safety. So daycares, a lot of families, I have a lot of families asking, should I send my kid back to daycare or what do I do when my daycare closes because there's a possible exposure or infection? And uh, it's a really hard discussion because there's a lot of daycares that are either already closed or really full um, and they can't take patients and it keeps um, families who are unable to do telemedicine or telework at home um, and away from um, providing for their families. And that's a really hard discussion to have with them. Um, I think this will help to decrease that burden for families is having that safety of I, my child has been vaccinated um, and my child will probably need to be tested again, but probably won't have to have the extra visits and severity of illness that can come with some severe sickness of COVID-19 infection.